set the ball rolling and uh, done very well. Thanks so much. Now, with the risk of uh, sounding repetitive, I'm going to ask a question to the audience. Since morning we have been hearing about, so what is the biggest challenge that you see as a person which is related to healthcare? Any of you? Yeah, that's one. Right. Right. Affordability, cost, yes. Sure. So uh, my view is nothing different from what you think. Now when we talk about uh, Make in India, I would have been surprised if uh, our Honorable Prime Minister would have not included health care. But he did. When he spoke about these 25 things, you know, which he wants to be included in uh, Make in India initiative. So health care is very much part of that. While it is categorized under pharmaceutical, and the other broad heading is uh, wellness. Now, uh, I'll tell you, when we talk about affordability, a lot of time, private play, and especially groups like Apollo, Fortis, Max, they get penalized, they, they get accused, literally, you know, I can say that, that they're very expensive, they're making money, it's so expensive, can people afford it? It's a social cause, people should be healthy, it should be our right to be healthy, and we should have a kind of you know, access to any kind of health care, whether it is private or uh, public. So see, on humanitarian ground, we are not averse to the idea that yes, it should be affordable. But other part of it, if you look at it, what's the cost structure today that we face? When we look at running a hospital, eventually, in, in earlier session, Dr. Ravi said that yes, it does have to have uh, business sense. Otherwise, how do we run the hospital? So if we go to the cost structure, what does it kind of encompass? Largely, the consumables. Even before consumable, that, that is related to operations. If we talk about setting up a hospital, Medical technology constitute a big, big, big part. Dr. Rana has been you know, involved in project for a long, long, long time. He would agree with me that around 40, 50% of your cost actually gets into medical technology. And if, when I'm talking number, let me talk more numbers. So if you look at our medical devices, the, t the complete market, the complete expenditure is 35,000 crore. It's huge. And let me also tell you at the same time that 90% is imported. And that's where the cost is hidden. Now, if we talk about make in India, if we start to manufacture these medical equipment, because in terms of technology, I have no doubt that we have got big scientists sitting in here. DRDO is playing a huge role in terms of getting a, a you know, lot of research happening around medical technology as well. So if we start to manufacture this in India, the cost is significantly going to go down to the tune of 40 to 50%. And that can easily be passed on to patients. Because if you ask me how do I do costing, it's very simple. One is that how much I have invested in, where I want return. And second thing is what the market is pricing it at. So there are two factors to it. If my putting in expenses or to kind of project costs is much lower, obviously the cost to the patient is going to be much lower as well. So that is something when we start the hospital. Now second thing, if we talk about the cost part of it, now look at the diagnostics. So those who run um, hospitals, they would understand that the revenue around 40% comes from your diagnostics. And if you talk about lab, whichever you talk about, and largely it's around lab laboratory, again, your 30% cost goes into consumable. And further on, when you're importing it, there is a tax to the tune of 25 to 30%. So where do we stand in that? So if we have the consumable cost coming down, because again, it's make in India, the tax structures are gonna go down, the cost will automatically come down. So from healthcare provider's perspective, what I wanted to highlight is the moment it's make in India, the cost for all of us is going to go down, and the healthcare is going to be much, much, much more affordable to the people of India. Yes, uh, am I optimistic about it? Pretty optimistic, because I think in last one year's time, a lot of improvement has happened in terms of a lot of steps have been taken in. Uh, Mr. Mukherjee spoke about G setting up shop here to ensure that, you know, more and more, even when I interact with people, so I had a meeting with the Philips people a few days back, so what they're saying now is that high-end technology, high-end equipment, not necessarily that all the diagnosis requires that kind of high-end technology, and even consumables, you can have different category of consumables being available, right? And research part of it, if you start research, the molecules are generated here in pharma background, 
then again the cost is going to come down. So that's my thought around Make in India. And I think it's a very, very good initiative. And if we are able to implement it well, it is going to benefit all of us, whether it is provider or the seeker, that's a patient. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Richard.